Hello, this video is going to be an overview of this website and what Mr. Huang or Huang Laoshi has prepared for students and the parents to use to optimize our students' learning. So this is the video you're watching now in the How To's tab, the first video. And below these are a quick tutorial on how to use Google Translate and another one on using the Zhongwen online textbook resource. So this website, the first tab right here, is a little bit about Huang Laoshi. Right here. And some information if you want to contact. And here's a tab with the teaching philosophy of Huang Laoshi. And the second tab right here is general information about our dual language immersion program and the curriculum map right here. And the third tab right here, if you click it, it shows all the weeks and this is going to have all the information that we um, use in class and all the homework and everything under this page which you can also access with this drop down menu over here so this week is week one and that is going to be on the fourth tab right here so if it's the third week of class the week three is going to be up here while week one and week two and every other week is going to be in the log right here so this week is week one so if we click that this is what we see there's going to be announcements for every week right here at the very top and then homework for the week so this week we don't have homework on Tuesday or Wednesday and on Thursday here's the Chinese homework and the math homework and on Friday here's the Chinese homework and here's the math homework so if we click on the download file for the Chinese homework we'll see a PDF file of the homework for Thursday, the Chinese portion. And if you want to print it, there's going to be an icon right down here for you to print. If you want to save it, it's right down here. So this is basically a page for students to practice the vocabulary that they acquired in class and need practice on because Chinese is a picture language and um, how you remember words is by practicing and the red marks you see are the strokes and stroke order so if we go back here is every word that was on the list that students will practice and if you click on one of them it'll take you to this arch Chinese website and it'll show you the strokes and then read the word at the end and this it shows the definition and many many other um, information about this word so what we're hoping is when the students are doing their homework so before they write this word they go to this website and then they press this icon the very first on the top left sure. it shows the first stroke and then it also reads what that stroke is called. So they press that, they listen to the shu, which is what that stroke is called. And then they go to their homework and write that portion of the word down. So they trace this part of the word for. And then they press it again. Heng zhe. Heng zhe is what this stroke is called. And then after listening to that and watching that, they write this part down. And then they continue. Pie. Pie. Shu zhe. Shu zhe. Heng. Heng. And then do that step by step until they finish the um, word. And this really helps because it breaks a word down into simple little parts. And then it, it sets a really good foundation for them. When they're learning further words, uh, they get kind of like a sense of um, which direction the stroke will go or how to write it so it looks correct so when they're 
learning words that are far more complicated than this one, like maybe this one, they'll kind of, um, it'll be easier for them to remember how to write it and learn it and then things like that. So after the Chinese homework and the math homework, we will, there's a section on what the students will learn in class this week, um, like objectives and things like that. So we're going to focus mainly on speaking and listening in the first grade because it's arguably um, more efficient to learn about speaking and listening first before reading and writing. So that's what we're focusing on. So this is a list of basically what they'll learn in class and there's um, content objectives and language objectives and math objectives and science and social studies objectives. And this section below it that's called um, what students have done in Chinese class this week. Um, so Tuesday night, Huang Lao Shi will put up everything the students have done in class, including maybe some pictures and videos and the um, materials they used and things like that kind of like a blog post under um, this title and then what they did for math also on Tuesday night and then if you miss a day or if you just want to um, know what your children or it, what your child has been doing in class you can come up here onto the website and easily read and see what they did in class and how they're learning and after this we have a songs and video section there's a lot of um, songs so for example this one is about numbers from 1 to 5 and things like that so when students are at home and they're bored or they have any time they can watch these and listen to these and it'll really help them be immersed into a Chinese environment because a few hours in school really isn't enough for students to be um, learn optimally so having time in at home practicing and listening is really really helpful in the learning process and after these are some games and for example this one you just have to match the um, number to the Chinese character so I know this one is San that means three so I'm gonna match it to that and then I get 10 points and if I match incorrectly eh, I get the score reset and things like that and another example is a listening one qi, qi. so it says Qi so I know that means seven so I'm gonna click this one and I get that right Jiu. Jiu. so if I Oh, I, I missed that. I didn't hear that. I can click here on the bottom right corner, the speaker icon. Jill. Jill. It'll repeat it again and then I'll... Oh, okay, I know what it is. So there's 10 questions. R. R. Yeah, and those are some examples of games that I will post on here. And the next section, how you can help your students number one is the Arch Chinese which these links are also um, in the homework section up there so clicking these again will take you back to the this website which is really really helpful si. and I'll put the, um, the words for every week here under the week and number two is the mdbg.net online dictionary and this is mainly for phrases or sentences that are longer than certain uh, and than single words arch chinese is good at single words but this website is better for phrases and sentences so let's go back up to our objectives and let's say um the student wants to know what this means it says blue crayon but they maybe want to know how it's pronounced 
or something like that. So I copy it, go to this M M MDBG website, and I will paste it here and click the Chinese to English icon. And I will be able to listen to what it's what it sounds like. 蓝色的蜡笔. 蓝色的蜡笔. Okay, and I can also listen it to it in English. And at the bottom, it'll tell you. Okay, 蓝色 means um blue, and then 的 is like a possessive or like used after an adjective to show that it is an adjective, and then 蜡笔 is a crayon. And there's more information about the words if you hover over this. You can listen to it. 蓝色. 蓝色. Or if you click this icon, you'll have like their each individual meaning, or even the stroke if you click right here. So that is the second website. The MDBG online dictionary, which is used again for phrases and sentences that are longer than single characters. And right here, Huang Lao Shi has embedded the、um, vocabulary words here, so you can click this to listen to、R. it, and then click this first one, and then click this one. To see the strokes step by step, this is not as good as the Arch Chinese website because the Arch Chinese website, when you press this button, press this button. Let me press it again. Hum. It shows you the stroke in order, and then also reads what it is called to the student. Shu. So this is going to help a lot. So this is the recommended website, but if you just wanna listen to it fast without opening another tab or seeing it without listening to what the strokes are called, I have in、um, Huang Lao Shi has embedded these here for, for your convenience. And that is about it for the weekly pages. So again, if you wanna access past weeks. You can go to the weekly log here, and for the current week, you want to click the tab, the fourth tab, right here, which will have all the information you will need. And if you have any further in question, further questions, again, you can email Huang Lao Shi under this tab, at the email right here.